Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I wanted to continue our series showing how to use Blender for video editing. In particular I wanted to show how to create a picture in picture video using Blender. So here's an example of what I'm talking about. This is the effect you often see used by newscasters who want to have a small clip of another video playing somewhere else on the screen while the main video is still running. It turns out that doing this type of picture in picture editing in Blender is fairly simple. You can embed one, two, or as many pictures and pictures as you'd like. So if this sounds like fun, let's jump over to Blender and get started. All right, so here we are in Blender, and I've already got this set up for video editing. As you can see, I've got this ready to go into an MP4 uh, with an appropriate codec and other settings. If you're unfamiliar with how we got to this point and got Blender set up and ready for video editing and video rendering, please check out our previous video where I talked about getting started with Blender literally from the ground up and how to start importing movies and using it for video editing, including what are the appropriate settings to get to the place where we are right now. So I'll assume you've watched that video. If not, I'll leave a link to that video in the description below or you can get to it by clicking on the card up here in the upper right. So that being said, let's look at the videos that we're playing with and we're going to be putting together in this demonstration. So the first I've got a main video here which is just me talking in the driveway. I've got a picture in picture that I would like to show um, which is just me in my van trying to get out of a snow filled parking lot. And then the second picture in picture that I would like to show simultaneously is just that same van driving down the road. So that's the game plan. So in order to do this and get started, the first thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and add the main video to the project okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build some proxies so I'm gonna go ahead and again make sure that I've selected the video um, track and I'm gonna go ahead and click on those proxy time codes and I'm going to make a 25 percent proxy by clicking on the real rebuild proxy and timecode indices so again if you're not familiar with what this is doing please go ahead and check out the previous video where we did talk about how to build these and what they do I'll also change the screen up here by click clicking up top pressing the N key and then going to the proxy size so that I'll actually see a much um, lower resolution video up here in the renderer but it'll allow me to make manipulations a lot quicker Okay, so let me scroll out. Let's change this. It looks like we're going to need a couple more frames. I don't know, maybe how about 600? Nope, still that's not enough. Let's make this how about 800? Almost there. How about 900 will get us there? Okay, great. So that encompasses the entire thing. So the first thing I'm going to do is let's figure out where I want the um, first uh, picture in picture to show up. Let's see, maybe right, how about right here where I gesture over the to the side. So at this point in the main video, I would like a picture in picture to show up in this upper left corner. So let me add a marker just to make this easier for reference. And now in order to do the picture in picture portion, all I'm going to do is I'm going to add another movie at this location. So I'll add the first picture in picture here. I'll hit select and I'll hit add movie. And as you can see, it looks like it completely overwrote the other video, which is to kind of be expected because the video of the picture in picture is on a higher track number than the main video so a couple of things we need to do here first I don't need the audio the audio channel for the picture-in-picture picture, right because I want the audio from the main video to be playing and I just want this picture-in-picture picture to be uh, playing the video not the audio so I'll select the audio uh, track press delete and I'm gonna erase that strip so I got rid of the audio that's pretty fine and dandy but we still have this problem where it is way too big and it's completely overshadowing and covering up the other main video. So to fix that, I'm going to click on the video track of the picture in picture, and I'm going to come up here and say, add effect strip transform. And I get this green transform effect strip, which is affecting this uh, video strip. So I'm going to make sure I have the transform selected by clicking on it. And then I'm going to come over here in the settings and then I'm going to come up here to strip and I'm going to scroll all the way to the top, and one of the first things I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to make sure that the blend here is on alpha over, and it all is already, so I think we're okay. Then I'm going to scroll down a little ways, and then here in the scale, you can now choose how you want this video to be scaled. You can individually scale the X and the Y. So if I individually scale the X, you can see it shrinks just the X component. The Y one does the opposite. So again, if you want to, um, you can individually scale these, but I don't want to do this. I want to keep the aspect ratio the same. So I'm going to click on the checkbox for uniform scale. And now I no longer have an X and a Y. I just have a simple single scale. So now if I go ahead and decrease this, you see the video gets smaller. 
And that's perfect. How about let's make it half size, uh, you know, or something close to that. That looks pretty reasonable. In fact, you know, maybe let's make it a, a skosh smaller. Now, what I can do is your problem is it's sitting here in the middle of the screen. I want it over here on the upper left. So I'm going to start messing with this position X and position Y. So again, I'm going to click and drag to the side. And you can see that basically decreases the position X value. And I can decrease it to move it wherever I'd like. I'll do the same thing with Y. I'm going to move this up. And there we go. That looks pretty good. Um, you know, we can actually add a couple of bells and whistles here as well. So when this picture in picture shows up, maybe I want a little sound effect to play, like a little pop noise to make the uh, to draw the viewer's attention that uh, something is happening. So again, we covered this a little bit more in uh, greater detail in our video where we talked about adding text and sound to uh, to Blender. Again, I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. So if you want the details of what I'm doing here, please check that video out. But again, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and add sound, and I'll go to a sound effect that I have stored on my machine. How about this pop up here? I'll add that sound and here it is. You can see it showing up. I'm going to make this play a little bit louder and say volume 10 and there we go. So at this point if we were to preview this video it should look pretty reasonable. So I'm going to go ahead and let it run. One thing you may have noticed is that the frames per second during the rendering was actually not so good. So if I scroll all the way back here, watch the frames per second up here, and you'll see that right now when I hit play, it's just going to be playing the main video. The FPS is going to stay nice near around 30, but when I get to the picture-in-picture, -picture, things are going to slow down. There we go, 30. Yikes, you saw that thing drop way down. The reason why is because I did not make a proxy for the picture-in-picture, -picture, so I probably should do that. So if I click on the proxy strip, I'll come here to, uh, excuse me, I'll click to the proxy um, tab, and again, I will click on the check mark for strip proxy and time codes, make sure I've got 25% selected, and I'll rebuild it. So what this is doing, this is building the proxy for just the picture-in-picture -picture one right here. And we can see it's going to take a little while. So while we're waiting for that, let's insert a second picture in picture. So if I scroll this and scrub to the location where maybe we want to add a second picture in picture, let's see. Um, how about right about, I can't remember exactly where I do this. How about right, uh, how, how about here? This seems like a pretty good spot, so I'll repeat this process. So let's go ahead and add a marker, and then what we'll do is we'll go and add the second picture-in-picture, picture, which is this file right here. I'll add that, and then again, I'm going to go ahead and delete the audio track. So I'll click the um, audio track, and we can basically get rid of this guy. Delete. Oops, excuse me. Right-click, delete erase yes there we go and then I'm gonna go ahead and add a effect strip which is going to be our transform oh sorry I, I didn't have it selected I need to select the video channel go ahead and add an effect strip transform I'm gonna click on the transform I'm gonna come up here to strip make sure that it's on alpha over I'm gonna come down and check the uniform scale tick box and I will then make this the size I want and then I can play with the position to make, get that in the position I want as well. So again, maybe let's make this a little bit bigger. What was the other one? 0.49? No, it was actually smaller. Let's make it 0.46. There we go. So now I've got two picture-in-pictures playing at the same time. Again, I'll go ahead and add a sound. I'll add that same popping noise so that the guy appears at the same time. Increase the volume to 10. And then go ahead on the video strip. Let's go and make some proxies so that it looks reasonable. Rebuild the proxy time codes for this second picture in picture. And now, hopefully, this whole thing looks uh, halfway reasonable. So if I scroll back here, as soon as this finishes rendering right there, let's go ahead and play it. And notice the, the frames per second stays up at nice and 30 frames per second. Great, and that second picture in picture came out as uh, perfectly as well. So let's go ahead and save the Blender file. I think we've got a good setup right now. And um, let's render this and see what ends up happening. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, render this entire video. Okay, so we'll give this a couple of minutes, and then we'll come back and see what the final product looks like.
All right, so it looked like it finished rendering, so here's the final file. So let's go ahead and double click it and play and show you what it looks like. All right, so here's a small film clip, but if you notice, there's a lot of blank screen space over here, so it might be nice if we can get a picture in picture to show up right there. And as you can see, uh, this is what it looks like when we're trying to get out of a parking lot filled with snow in a rear wheel drive van. Uh, and we still actually have a lot of extra real estate down there, so we can actually fill this with a second simultaneous picture in picture, and we can go driving down the road in the snow. So I hope that was helpful. All right, so we saw that worked uh, fairly well, and the process in Blender is actually pretty darn simple. Remember, there's just three main steps. So the first thing we want to do is just add the main video. The second thing you want to do is just add that picture-in-picture -picture video, and then delete the audio track, and then just do a couple of manipulations on the video track by clicking on it, and then going Add Effect Strip Transform, and then within that transform, making sure that the blend was set to alpha over, and then you're able to just freely manipulate the scale as well as the position to position that picture-in-picture uh, -picture video wherever you like. The third thing to maybe note is that you also want to make sure that you build proxies for both the main and the picture-in-picture -picture video so that you can do easy editing and quick scrubbing in the video editor. Maybe as a parting note, I will mention that, you know, you saw that we could add sound effects as well. You could also do things like adding text or images to your picture-in-picture. -picture. Um, again, we covered that in a separate video of how to add text and images to a Blender video. So please feel free to check that out if you're so interested. So with that being said, I think this is a great spot to leave it. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did I also hope you would consider subscribing to the channel surprisingly if you just scroll down a little ways and click on that subscribe button it really does help me continue making these videos and I hope to catch you at one of our future discussions on blender or other video editing techniques um, I've also got a lot of other interesting videos on the channel that might be uh, related to similar content so I hope to catch you at one of those and until then I'll sign off talk to you later bye